Wow, very, very hot. <laughs> so hot, wow. Um, it is Sunday night and it's 11.29 p.m., very late. And so lighting is horrible again because I can't be bothered. And I've had a really long day of eating a lot of food. Wow. <laughs> Makan, 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 eating, eating, eating the whole day with the guys from Rock Fellowship. This was my Bible study 15 years ago. They're all moms and dads now. We had a picnic in Christ Pieces, all the kids running around us in circles. <laughs> and then in the evening with the guys from Light Fellowship, these are the youth leaders whom I really, really admire because youth, they scare me. <laughs> but they're doing such a good sacrificial job leading them and loving them, being good examples to them. So had dinner with them at Kolala. Really, really good food. Very reasonable, very spicy, and there's a little bit of a weight. But it was fun, you know, hanging out with them, just um, almost thanking them, thanking them for their friendships and just uh, marking this season when I'm able to say goodbye to them. So on that topic, saying goodbye, I got this question on Instagram. Uh, thank you for this question. Uh, it says, Hi, super encouraged by your content. Can you share why you're leaving Cambridge? <laughs> why I'm leaving, you know, exactly seven days from now, Sunday night, seven days from now, I'll be in the air, <laughs> on the airplane back to Malaysia. So yes, I'm leaving Cambridge very, very soon. And the follow-on question is, how do you know where God is telling you where to go? How do I know it's Malaysia? Or how do I know what to do next? What am I going to do next? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, wish, I wish I could tell you that there was this big plan or this big you know, vision from God, go back to Malaysia. There, 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 there isn't. No. Um, uh, those of you who know me know that I've been talking I've been talking about going back to Malaysia for years and years and years and years and then they say hey, you're still here <laughs> that's why 26 years in Cambridge ma. but finally finally I'm doing it and I think it's the sum of all those micro decisions kind of like a domino effect and I guess the biggest domino uh, was uh, Chinese New Year uh, February just this year yeah I went back to Malaysia and it was such a sweet and such an enjoyable moment. I didn't want to leave. Uh, being back home, having one tan mean at cha chan thing with my dad. I really want to go back there. It's so good. <laughs> or going to church, actually listening to a sermon by a pastor in a Malaysian accent. I really, really love that. And meeting new friends. The thing is, I lost all my old friends already. Never kept in touch. But I never thought I'll meet new friends in Malaysia who I met over lockdown. And then when I went back, I met in person and had bingsu with them. It was such an encouraging time. They really inspired me with their passion for the gospel, for the Bible. And I think it really surprised me as well to find that back in Malaysia. And so the sum total of that was that I was hoping I would get COVID <laughs> in Malaysia so I would be stuck there. But I, I didn't, I came back, I got COVID over here. Yeah, but it made me think, you know, why wait? You know, when I got back to, to Cambridge, you know, why wait for the next holiday to go back, you know, and just spend another two weeks? You know, why wait till things get really, really bad to do something that's really, really good today? And so that domino, that big domino of going back to Malaysia over Chinese New Year, kind of like set everything off. I bought a ticket, you know, the ticket for next week was a super duper cheap ticket. You know, summer is so expensive to go back, but this particular day for this particular flight, I don't know why, maybe it's like super full, <laughs> was super cheap. And so that's the only reason I bought that ticket. And when I got that ticket, therefore I got the date to tell my boss that I was quitting. And so I did, and they were super, super understanding. Um, actually, you know what, uh, the thing is last week, right, when I left, they did this really funny, surprising video as a farewell for me. And everyone was in on it. They came in during one of my off days and they filmed it. And them running around the canteen, holding bananas, singing a song. It was so silly, including my boss. <laughs> 
Uh, but oh, well, I've made really, really good friends here and makes it really, really difficult to say goodbye. But also makes it seem worthwhile, the time I spent here. And yeah, finally, finally going back home yeah, in a week. I think, I think I won't know what I'm missing until I'm back home, back home in Malaysia. And I'll miss everything here and everyone. Yeah, so uh, really no real big plan, big vision, just series of dominoes, the ticket, my job, and now having to pack up. I haven't packed up yet, and I have to pack up and leave very, very soon. Um, you know, lots of us, when it comes to God's plan, you know, the question was, how do I know that this is what God wants me to do? And, you know, maybe you are at that crossroads as well. And sometimes what we want is that big picture and God to give us that Google map, you know, go here and then you go here and then you stop here and you end up here. And that big map so that we know the full picture and you know, I, that never happens. God gives us a compass, not a map. He gives us nudges, you know, take this route. You know, don't do this, do that instead. And then we don't quite know why, but it's always inconsistent with His uh, consistent, not inconsistent, consistent with his character, with his love, with his um, control, that he is God and we are not. And I think uh, this kind of micro decision is really uh, us living out each day, each moment in prayer and dependence upon God. And, you know, with the big and with the small decisions, the best thing we, that we can do is to commit it to him, to trust him, and to almost you know, honor God with everything that we're doing in the very moment that we're trying to do it. So um, the way I see things is that life often consists of small decisions that make up to that big decision. Oftentimes before you get to that big turning point, you get to that big decision, you've already made very, very small decisions leading up to that. And that prepares you, but it prepares you to trust God every step of the way. So what I would say is, you know, um, for me at least, you know, before I get back to Malaysia and think about, you know, what job I'm going to do, <laughs> or which church I'm going to join. And I, by the way, I'm looking for a church. Please recommend to me a good church. I would love um, to, you know, be a part of uh, the body of Christ back home in Malaysia and just to serve and just to get to know it. Actually, even just to get to know um, the people back home again. But before I even make all those big decisions, honestly, I'm just having lots of food here, making the most of the time here. And um, I think if I can do that here, maybe, maybe I'll be able to do that back home in Malaysia. Yeah, hope that helps. Again, uh, for all it's worth, I really, really appreciate the question. I hope that helps you in your big decision making. Um, and thank you for the question. Take care. God bless. Bye.